Jayla Torrance and Skylar Schellmeyer leads off, and we are underway with strike one from Torrance. 80% throwing the way that she did yesterday. It's been fun to watch. It's laid down to the left side, and miscommunication for the Alabama defense allows Schellmeyer to reach. Torrance thought about it, Prangy and Kahalen converge, and nobody's able to make a play. Torrance gets her first strikeout. One two is hit to left field. Johnson on the retreat. Gets in front of it, puts it away. Most pressure all year. The three two pitch, swing and a miss strike. Three, Torrance K's two and works around the leadoff single. Trying to find who's hot. Who's gonna make their way aboard and right there. Okay, when her career is over, so they get settled down. Johnson bunts. And Williams, who fields her position as well as anybody. Heard all week, this team is just constantly praying for Madeline. Williams thought about it, throws to Katie, and her toss is high to Nito, and everybody's safe. So Dowling is safe at first, and a good job avoiding a tag from Prangy. But in batting average for this tied team. And she skies the 2 1. Shallow right center, Shellmeyer gets underneath it and retires Shipman. There are two away in the Alabama first. The ball hard off of Williams. Payoff pitch, Shellmeyer full speed ahead. And the inning comes to an end. Zedak takes the 3-1 down and in, ball four. Liner into left field and on the move. Johnson positioned precisely, pockets that for the second out. Evelyn, right on top of it. 3-2 to Kahalen. Swing and a miss. Fooled by the change. First strikeout for Williams. One hop. And even with the bobble, Cochran steps on the bag. A 1-2-3 inning for Danielle Williams. All that outside, outside noise. Schellmeyer. Oh, a diving stop by Evelyn. And a flip to finish it off. Spectacular at second. Second time for Maeve Nelson, who strokes it into center field. Two out single. And the Wildcats have had at least one base runner in all the first three frames. Hitting 458 in the postseason. She flied out against Torrance the first time and the second time as well. Inning over. Wildcats have stranded three. It looks like we're going to get a lightning delay on the field right now. So bad news is that if lightning strikes within eight miles, that is a rule for the tournament, for any site, that the game has to go into a delay. That is what will bring on what appears to be our delay here. Eastern from Oklahoma City Thursday on ESPN. White grounds it to short. Nelson's throw is not in time. And Kristen White starts the Alabama third with a leadoff infield hit. Holds the record with 26. Throw to second, not in time on White. Her stolen base is her 14th in 17 tries. 3-2 just outside from Williams. So Johnson's butt rolls to Katie. She's up quickly, but not in time over to first. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Looking to get the game's first run on the board. Doesn't look deep enough there. Schellmeyer makes the call, the catch, and gets it back in, one down. O2's hit well down the left field line, and Shipman gives a one-hopper off the wall. Alabama scores two. Crimson Tide take a 2-0 lead on an Alley Shipman double down the left field line. O2 count, bases loaded. Alley Shipman delivers. Back-to-back change-ups. Our lightning delay, and the runners are off. Ball in the dirt. Rudd was out of position to be able to get her body behind the throw, and a double steal for the Tide. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Williams ends the inning there with that K. Down and away, ball four. 2-2 line, down the right field line. That's a fair ball. 
Cochran the turn, and now she's got to get back to second. Hevelin might have had a play there to try and get her on the back side of it at second base. Uh, more variety. Montana Fowles isn't afraid to go to the same pitch over and over again because she can get outs like that. 3-1 is a bloop, and it's down into left center field. And Northwestern is on the board as Bridget Donahue, who came in as a pinch runner, races around to make it a 2-1 ball game. How about Kelsey Nader? A-hole hitter. It's her second RBI of the weekend. 3-1 count, gets something over the middle of the plate. She gets a little bit under it, but gets enough of this ball that it's gonna land right in front of Kristen White and just beyond the reach of Kenley Kahalen. Northwestern gets a big time run on the board to cut the lead for Alabama in half. We're seeing after the rain delay, after the lightning delay, no rain. And it is an unwavering confidence in bringing anybody off the bench to be able to come through for this team. Prangy steps on the bag, the inning is over. Bottom third of the Alabama order. Kenley Kahalen lets it meet the bat and Danielle Williams throws it too high for Cochran over at first. Even if that throws on target, don't know that's an out. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt for Pruitt. Danielle Williams change up at its best, her third strikeout. Right on the 2-2, pops it into the glove of Katie at third. Another great grab from Hannah Katie at the corner. And a 2-2, she goes up the ladder, gets Prangy swinging. The inning comes to a close. All as Northwestern comes to the plate here, and Skylar Schellmeyer has her best game of the weekend, her second base hit in three trips to the plate. Nelson does bunt. Rangy controls it and sends it to Hevlin for the out. Sacrifice successful from Nelson to put Schellmeyer the tying run at second base. And so for Northwestern, it's first and second. And a very fired up Jordan Rudd headed to first. Runners at first and second, two out, the 2-2 pitch. Slow roller over to the right side, and Hevlin to Broadfoot. The inning is over. Down the line, toward the pole, and that ball is out of here! Jenna Johnson rattles the foul pole, and it's 3-1 Alabama. We've seen so many times this weekend against Danielle Williams specifically, Alabama right-handed hitters hitting a lot of foul balls early down the left field line. The two big hits that the Tide has come up with today. Momentum helped carry them over, get another big time win. And Danielle. the changeup carries Danielle Williams to a third consecutive out. In the fourth to plate Northwestern's only run. She hits it back to Fouts, who's slow to grab it. That one got her in the forearm. And so Nader is safe after a frozen rope went back to the circle. A pinch hit for Grace Nito in her last time up. She drops the bunt, Broadfoot grabs it, and the throw to first in time. Nelson the call, and the catch. She got a great beat on what she's been able to do in the circle. Not to mention, a lot of times we've seen these Alabama hitters come up, one pitch, one out. And a first pitch swing leads to a third out. It is on to the seventh in Tuscaloosa of 2023 in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The chop, the leap, and the throw. Oh, a job well done from Hevelin. It's one of the best days at second base Hevelin has had in her career, making the tough plays. Making the routine play, she's had a lot of action over there at second base. The leap, snow cone in that just a little bit to complete the play in the first out of this inning for Montana Fouts. She takes the 3-1, hits it high and deep to left, and gone! Maeve Nelson makes it a 3-2 game here in the seventh. She's got the clutch gene. Absolutely no quit in this Northwestern team all season long. So the top of the fourth gets life. And they are down to their final out as Rudd grounds out to short. Fouts delivers, 
Ball game over. Super regional over. And the Crimson Tide will ride this season's wave all the way to the World Series. What a journey and what a moment for Alabama and Montana Fouts to make it happen in her senior season. She's going to Oklahoma City and she's bringing the Crimson Tide with her.